Welcome back to Zach Collect Stuff. I have a pack opening video that I've been pretty excited to find at some point, and it's 2022 Fleer Ultra Avengers cards. And so I've seen a lot of these opened up online. I have a buddy who's opened up a couple blasters of them, and uh, all reviews are good. I can't wait to actually see what they look like in person. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Um, so 2022 has this new release of Fleer Ultra Avengers. And I was able to pick these up at Barnes & Noble for $30. I used to be able to get a teacher discount there, um, but they've ex like they've kind of done away with that. So, uh, But they are still the um, lowest prices when it comes to retail. Them and Target seem to have the lowest prices as far as retail. And you can typically find stuff there. So... Um, just an idea of what we're looking at here. Here's the odds on the side of the box. Screenshot that. Some really cool cards, inserts, the ones that are tough to find. The jambalayas are very tough to pull. Ultra powers are pretty cool looking. Uh, and then you have the Universe Power Supreme inserts that uh, will be really cool to pull. So I've got two blasters here. Um, and I'd love to pull one of those more rare inserts. Obviously, anything Spider-Man, anything Spider-Man is what I'm looking for. Um, also, if there's Iron Man um, or Captain America, those are great. So, what you get in here, you get three packs per box, and you get six cards per pack. They are a very thick stock card. So, there's our three packs there. Let's tear into them. So again, this is my first time actually seeing them in person. Um, really excited to see how they look. I've watched a lot of these opened up online, and I just love the look of the base cards. The base cards are just... I don't know if I can get any better lighting through here. Let's see if this helps. But nice chromium or foil-like striations in the background there got crossbones quake a oh, nice living lightning medallion silver medallion card that's a pretty cool looking card there helmet zemo green foil and i don't think the green foils are numbered no they are not but cool green foil there I'm not a huge fan of these inserts. I've never really liked the whole thing of featuring other comics in an insert. And also there's a big kind of divot right on the New Avengers picture there. That stinks. And the last base card here is Jessica Jones. So pretty weak pack as far as characters there, but two more packs to go. That's the way it goes buying cards sometimes. You don't really get the ones you want. Still, the cards look great. And there's one of the cards that I'm looking for. That Thanos card is one of my all-time favorite card Thanos artworks. And so check out the, the skulls that he's standing on on the bottom. Gauntlet is on fire. It's such a cool-looking card. I would love to see that one in a, <clears throat> in a color parallel. Man, that's a cool card. I like that one a lot. No, we saw this guy in the Wakanda Forever, Namor. So, cool to pull that card. I like that one a lot. Great artwork on that one, too. Namor, the Submariner. Here's one of the cooler inserts that I like a lot, Ultra Stars. This one is Speed. I can't say that I'm too familiar with the character Speed. Uh, the Child of Wanda. I knew he was Wanda and Vision's child, but I wasn't really... Uh, I don't really know a whole lot about that whole storyline, but super cool looking insert. Love that card. Very neat. We have Earth's Mightiest Spinoffs, Mighty Avengers. It's got Miss Marvel, Black Widow, Sentry, and Iron Man. A really cool Silver Age Avengers insert of Thor. I like that a lot. Very cool artwork on that one. I like that one. And the last base card in this pack 
is Beyonder. Know nothing about that. Kind of cheesy artwork. Not a huge fan of that one. But this pack seems a little bit thicker than the others. So not really sure if there's an extra card or just maybe one more. Because that Ultra Stars card was thinner stock. But oh, just, I just threw the packs over there. It's a little dark. Spider-Woman, very cool. That's collectible for me. Anything in the Spider-Verse is kind of what I'm looking for. Spider-Woman. Very cool Black Widow. like that one a lot. like that card. Silver Age Avengers Orange Foil. This one I think is numbered, and it's a good character. The Iron Man. That's 309 out of 549. So not very low numbered, but still to pull a serial numbered Iron Man, very cool. Probably a five to ten dollar card, I would think. Green foil. Loki. I like that one with the color match. The green foil definitely matches the whole color scheme of Loki. That's such a cool looking card. That's great looking. Man. Earth's Mightiest Spinoffs, The New Avengers, Captain America, Luke Cage, Spider-Woman, and Iron Man. I don't really know how I feel about this artwork for a card. I don't know. Everything is so dark, you can't really tell. I mean, obviously you can tell who Captain America is, but... Yeah. Cool card, though. And a base of Helmet Zemo. So let's put, there's a couple cool cards we can put on display back here. Let's get the Iron Man, the Loki up there. And let's get ripping on this second box. So, new Marvel product. Obviously you guys saw me rip a bunch of the Spider-Man stuff. I don't know how much of this I'll rip. At at 30 bucks a blaster, it's a little bit tough for me to to stomach that. I mean you're getting 18 cards. And uh that first box, I mean I got the Iron Man, I got the Spider Woman, um, I got the Black Widow, which is kind of cool. Um but seeing them in person, I love the thick stock. But the problem with the thick stock is where do you keep them? Like, how do you store them? But, all right, let's go through this one. Nick Fury, base. Dormammu, base. Oh, there we go. That's a cool looking card. I like that one a lot. That War Machine Silver Medallion is such a neat looking card. With the color match, the graphite on his uniform or his suit. Really nice looking there. I like that one a lot. I put him right next to Iron Man. We got a green foil of Mantis. Very nice. Whoa, what is this? This is one of the cards of the big puzzle. There's like a nine card puzzle, the way that they used to do it back with the uh, 90s sets. This is number four of nine. Um, I don't even know what this subset was called. That is such a cool looking card. I mean, I guess I'm pulling the, I got the Iron Man there, bringing good, good mojo for this break, but that is really cool. Like, obviously you can see like Thor is over here. Is that Spider-Man right there at the, right below the Iron Man? Um, it's got a really nice foil finish, thick stock. Again, that was a cool card. Put him there. And the last card from this box, or from this pack, is Captain America Silver Age Avengers. I mean, I'm pulling, I'm pulling all the right names. I, I'm, I'm a fan right now. Like this second box. Well, you know what? I can't complain. 
<laughs> like, I still got two packs left. And I feel like had I just pulled those, I would have I would have been okay with it. I feel like there's an extra card in here, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like there is. Let's see. We'll pull off the base off the back. The base on the back is Taskmaster. Very cool. Beast. Very nice artwork on that one. Got Thor. Nice. I like it. Another Ultra Stars. Swordsman. I know nothing about Swordsman. To impress the Avengers, Swordsman broke into their mansion and attacked Quicksilver before the Scarlet Witch used a hex spell to restrain him. Unfortunately, Swordsman wasn't done and tried to execute Captain America before planting a bomb in the Avengers' mansion. He looks like a G.I. Joe to me. Whoop. Nonetheless, I really like these Ultra Stars inserts. I will be trying to seek out more of those. Galaxy's Greatest Battles. This one is cool. It's the orange foil, so this one's numbered two. Um, Captain of, or Avengers versus the Shi'ar and the Kree Empires. This one is numbered to uh, 549 again. Very cool. I have a green foil of Namor in the Silver Age Avengers. Not numbered with the green foil again. Earth's Mightiest Spinoffs, The Dark Avengers. Never heard of that. Iron Patriot, Sentry, Dokken, and Bullseye. And one last pack for all the marbles. I feel like I need one more stand. Maybe I'll take down the cap, even though the cap is pretty awesome, and I'll replace it with another cap. Okay, so I had extra card in that previous pack. I have one less card in this pack. That's kind of probably why. Mephisto. Gamora. Kind of a good timing there with the new Guardians of the Galaxy kind of on its way out soon-ish this year. I'm going to go off the back here. Hulk. Nice. I love this base card. This Hulk base card is so cool looking. And it looks great when you get the green foil parallels and the other parallels there. I like that a lot. So there's Gamora. A nice green foil Captain America. It'd be much cooler if it was like blue or red foil. But still, a parallel of Captain America. Gotta love that. Got the right character for sure. And lastly, Scarlet Witch. Silver Age Avengers. So, these cards are super cool. Um, what you're going to run into with these thick stock cards is you're going to run into condition issues. It's really hard for them not to have dinged corners. Um, and... You see the bottom left corner there, whitening on the edge, whitening all along the edge there. Um, this is kind of normal for large or for um, thick stock cards. Um, that's why grading them is kind of a, a crapshoot. Um, I feel like this is a great design for a base set. These cards look really good. Um, I would like to complete this entire set. I don't think I have the money to do so. I'm not sure exactly how many cards there are. Probably a 100-card base set. Um, but these cards just look great. You can see another condition issue on the top right there of the Crossbones card. But Again, some more inserts and my favorite cards from this, from this opening. Uh, the Thor is really cool. Black Widow is really cool. Namor. The Thanos. Probably my favorite artwork 
of the cards in this series. Very cool looking card. And then again, <laughs> maybe my favorite card that I pulled. I just love the look of this silver medallion war machine card. I know it's not very valuable, a couple bucks maybe. But uh, I just think it looks fantastic. And it's definitely a throwback to the old Fleer Ultra of the 90s where they had the gold mail. Oh, a little bit of condition issue in the bottom right there. But, um, and again, this one here. So I, I'm totally happy with these pulls. <laughs> Obviously, if I were to buy a hobby box, a hobby box runs probably close to $300. Um, there's the odds again. Uh, I didn't pull any of the checkmate cards, which are pretty cool looking. They're the die cuts. Um, I didn't pull any Universe Power Supremes. Are these the 3x3s three three or 1 in 24? So that's what that card is. That's what the Iron Man card here. It's a 3x3. Three three. So that's a 1 in 24 pack. That's one of the, I guess, one of the rarer ones that I pulled. So, but that's all she wrote. Um, hopefully you guys can make some assessments on whether you would pick up a box of this. Again, only three packs, but you get six cards per pack. It's a really thick stock, so the cards feel really substantial. Um, but then again, hitting the cards that you want. Um, I didn't see any Spider-Man cards except for um, him kind of being in the shadow of this one right so i mean if you're looking for a specific character your best odds might just be to buy them online in singles um buy them online in singles and unless you like opening packs and kind of taking that gamble but uh i wanted to make this video kind of show you what they looked like show you what it's all about and uh kind of wanted to show off a couple of my amazing spider-mans in the back i love those issues i'm a huge doc ock fan so of course anytime i see a Doc Ock Amazing Spider-Man. I'm going to pick that up. And then a couple of my Q figs that I have there too to kind of fill in the background. But hopefully you enjoyed this rip. Um, if you have any comments, questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I appreciate every view, every subscription, every comment. Um, I love re responding back to my viewers with questions um, and just kind of interacting with you guys. So uh, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.